Welcome back to Life is Strange. I am Caster, and this is still Life is Strange, like I said. But, nothing. But nothing. So, here's what happened last episode. I broke into some things. I looked around. I didn't get into the principal's office, which I'm trying to do. I blew Warren off, again. That's like the third time. Dude needs to get better taste in movies, otherwise I'd feel bad for him. Uh, probably changed a test grade for Warren that I shouldn't have done and it may get him expelled or killed or I don't know what to expect anymore these days. And now, Chloe and I are going to blow up the door with a bunch of things. Pipe bombs, specifically. Door, Let's try this instead. Maybe Ooh. not a great idea. Literally. Yeah, yes. maybe. Time to blow shit up. All right. If you'll light the candle. This is so cool. How loud is that going to be, though? Get ready to haul ass. Yeah, like a lot of people are going to hear this. Like, this is not discreet, Max. Wow, that worked. It was so fucking cool. Oh, we are That's cold. what I thought. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Probably turn back time. But let's uh not hide in the bathroom. Maybe just get whatever we can and then turn back time. That's what I'm thinking. So let's keep turning back time. We're good. No. That's good enough. Stop. Okay. That, that brought me... Oh, I see. I see. Oh, the door hasn't even blown up yet. Because I'm in. Oh, so you can water your plan and everything's fine. Oh. If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with a rewind. I figured it out. Oh, this fucking door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no mm -hmm. clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. All right, I guess the company I figured it out. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Mm -hmm. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. Everyone's had, had that. Know he has money. All of Blackwell has that fancy faux art. Okay, look around. Maybe don't turn on the light. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I know, like Maltese Falcon, right? Yes, That's what I would think. If only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly-ass desk. I wouldn't have turned on the light, though. Like, he's out there. He could see the light. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. Looks it. I kind of like that chair. But shouldn't we be working? This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find yeah. some clues about Rachel or Kate or Nathan. Anybody. Am I the I one doing all the heavy lifting here, Chloe? What are you going to do? Anything? First of all, I'm going to take a photo of this hawk. You're not so tacky up close. I don't think so either. What? I thought I was... Okay, fine. So did you blow the lock? I just wanted to see if you knew explosives. And to see your incredible artwork. Yeah, that was pretty great. We did not blow it up. Okay. Let's go look through some stuff. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Nice. Back. Uh, can't take a bird photo, which I thought I could. Let's look at these photo things. And this one. There's the bird. Oh, it's got the bullet necklace on it. Let's not... Don't turn on the lamp. I have to turn this on, don't I? I'll just rewind time. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. Mm-hmm. And in the wrong place. Mm-hmm. Is there anything in this I need to read? Um, Kate Myers, 3.9. GPA is consistently outstanding. Optimism, attitude, quiet work. K-Bay, Seven News, Diverse Religious Studies Group, and Welcome Addition to Student-Led Spiritual Programs. Uh, Principal Wells, as the school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly, and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. I'm Marie Bernicke. 
Um, update. At present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Okay, cool. Uh, that's enough. Only two more files to go. What? How do I know there are two more files to go? Wait, hold on. Turn that on again. Let's just search through these books. I certainly can't use this. I don't know. Maybe you could. Is there something behind that painting? It looks like an oil painting spill. Awful. Don't judge other people's art. J Look just, at this pile. If you don't like it, that's fine. You don't have to be a jerk about it. Oh, more files. Search Humble this. Leads. Fine. Search this. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. That's not surprising. Let's see what it says. GPA 3.7. Damn. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. What? Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. That's ludicrous. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. I wasn't, but I guess I will. 2.8 GPA max. Max. Well, whatever. I mean, 2.8 is fine. Uh, max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates, and she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back her up qu quiet, back her up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so. But this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Update. Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Katie Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. I know. This I'm the file best. Is going to be so spotless, a projectile vomit. Yeah, we're gonna read this one. 3.9 GPA. Weird. Victoria Maribeth Chase. Oh, Maribeth? Not even like Meredith? Maybe you just misspelled it and got the D backwards? It happens to everyone. Uh, Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA and her extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals and for photography. Nobody cares, Victoria. Victoria also received high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell's spirit and history. No, Victoria. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. I don't know. He's got a... Wait. Warren's got a 4.0 GPA. Why did I change his grade? 4.0, Warren. Uh, Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift, of course, of gab, depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Ms. Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues toward his bright future. Probably should not have... Oh, uh, whatever. You're fine. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. What? I, I don't think... I wanted to say nab. You could have said that any way or how. He doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. Yeah. Uh, There's not much here about the police investigation. Interesting. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, let's see. Update. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month, and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. That Yeah, I know. You said for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts, and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and her extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, sounds like Prescott. She has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. 
We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Acadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. For now, from now. Thanks for all your help, Lieutenant Chris Rossi, Arcadia Bay Police Department. Okay. Uh, who else is in here? Man, I don't blame the principal for oh, expelling Chloe. It's Chloe. Bad Chloe. Gotta read it. 1.7 GPA. Chloe Elizabeth Price. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Uh, update. Chloe Price is no longer a student. See attached police reports. Neat. All right, I guess that's that. Is that all the records I need? I feel I like think I... we found everything in here. But there's some more files I here. Should... So Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully too. From Sean Shocker. Prescott. In light of the recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, this situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same abivilous conclusions. Thank you, Shababarg Lescott. Cool. Alright. Oh, there's a letter. I read that letter, didn't I? Right? That is so yeah. cool that my son I already read that. Actually That's great. Chloe. Go, Miss Grant. Photo? Chloe. Say hello to my little friend. Don't do that, but whatever. Say good night to the bad guy. Really? Okay. Whatever. Um, got that. Speak. Max, Let's go. You better come check out these files. Uh, more files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. Oh, it gets. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, confusing. that's a bad sign. I don't think they're teaming Nathan up. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. The people are third. You know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Definitely. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. What note? It's just some crazy drawing. Is it, though? It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's... What? Fucked up. What does this even mean? Wait. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Maybe she's Whoa, in the dark room? Listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. What? It's pretty cryptic. What? It sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Right, but... Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Oh, wait. Yeah, David I'm M. A Madsen. In here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Definitely Perhaps not. Do your powers include mind reading? Or no. did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? <laughs> Shit, I'm confused. <laughs> it's the powers of best friendship. Good call. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Ooh, we gotta go through Holy those. Shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Yeah, he deserved it. Don't take it. Are you going to make a big issue out of this? Yes, don't or take just it. just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself. I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Leave the money. Don't take it. Because then he'll know. Yeah. He'll know. He'll know we were there. That's just it. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? That's not really my issue. I know you need to pay Frank back, but... 
I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse choking wad of cash. Yes. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. Any other photos or anything? Ah. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Ooh, a whiskey bottle. Let's just grab it. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Mm -hmm. Although, yeah, I guess it's a double standard. I mean, I was... Wait, hold on. Can I do anything with this? Uh, disciplinary report. Picture viewer. Do I need to read any of this? This is a lot. I'm not... Not... Not doing that. Um, yeah, Jesus. That is... My goodness. Uh, David Madsen and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule in Mr. Madsen's talk radio terminology. Acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof as he promised he had more to show. Uh, I was surprised by an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this and I would... And given the questionable company Rachel has been keeping, I'm not certain I can believe her right now. Uh, what about... Where was the stuff about... David B. Or M. I just wanted to read that. Next. Next. Alright, that's it. Well, okay. That covers a lot of stuff. We don't need... Oh, I threw away all of that stuff in that trash can? I may as well have taken the money then. I thought, I thought we were being discreet. That impish look scares me. Yeah, what'd you take? Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? Why, can she it's not swim? It's been a great week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish splash? What time is that, You're like right. almost one? We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. Mm, d debatable. But let's go swimming. Why not? Maybe you should have taken the money. Ah, uh, probably should have stolen that money. Damn it. The handicap would have gotten more $5,000, or it was probably insured. It was probably insured. We're in the otter's lair. Oh no. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Yeah, but also no. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. You don't have to, but I get it. No otters. Wait, you have two different mascots? Bigfoots and otters? Also, I kind of want chips right now. I'm very hungry. But why, why am I... Looking around, if there's... Ah, see? I can look at this vending machine. I would love a soda, but I just get wired. Um, I feel like because I'm allowed to walk around... Ah, see? Look at a poster, look at another poster, look at another poster. That one's an ad. Let's look at an ad! If only I could solve the Desperate for my stolen backpack with picks. school books and new tablet. I need this for class and my tablet has private pics of my late cat. So I will pick cash... No questions asked. If you have any details or would like to return the backpack, please leave a contact. Okay. Um, and another ad. For what? I actually don't have the time Lost to goggles. investigate this caper. We might. We could get more money. She needs more money. Chloe's got to pay off that drug dealer. Um. Okay. Let's see if we can find some goggles, Chloe. Boys or girls? Um, let's just go through the girls' locker room. We are girls. Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Oh ho ho. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Good. Can I just go to the boys now? Wait. There's a jacket in there. I could have gone through a jacket. Oh, was that Prescott? Maybe I'll do both. Sock. This is definitely a clue. Where does that other sock go? Nobody knows, man. Hmm. Oh, Victoria's locker. 
So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Yeah, not... Go fuck your... Mm. No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. Yeah. These are cool shots. They were okay shots. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Maybe. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Whatever, just go through people's Bus stuff. Ticket? Was she going to run away? Hmm. Like Rachel Amber? Interesting. But to Portland. All right. Wait, no, I don't need that. Any other lockers I should go through? Graffiti. Wait a second. Is this the from? Wit. It burns. Yeah, definitely. Nobody else has lockers out. Mm. Look at T-shirts. Look at them. Those are some musty ass old shirts. All right. Yuck. Girls can swim too. Uh, and Brooke's locker. Who's Brooke again? Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Oh no! Which one was Brooke? Okay, can I? Rewind time. Come on. Oh, whoops. Did not mean to do that. Presto. Dude, it's getting old. Try and dazzle me with another trick. Uh, it's, I didn't want to do that. That's not what I intended. I wanted to go to the men's locker room. Let's go this way, Chloe. No, Chloe. Men's locker room. We can maybe get Boys some stuff. Go to boys locker room boys of course yeah figures perv Meh. let me check to see if the pool's heated i just want to know if we can find stuff on nathan like this jacket whose is it i guess somebody forgot their blackwell spirit okay it's not nathan's check these sax jersey okay maybe e-cigarette whose is this some poor hipster lost their vape. All right. Which one is this one? Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Does she have a crush on Warren too? Oh no. Zach's jersey? No way am I touching Zach's jersey. All right, fine. We won't get any info. Oh, floaties. I don't need your commentary on floaties, Max. I need you to snoop. Nathan's locker. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs. Diazepam? Right? Rispidone? Isn't one of those at least an antipsychotic? Doesn't diazepam at least lower your heart rate? Is that what it does? I can't remember. It's been a while since I played Metal Gear Solid. Sometimes. Um, more graffiti. Logan's locker. He has a locker? I guess I should consider this evolution. Dana, I know I am an a-hole, but I still care about you. Love, Logan. Logan, why would you put that in your own locker? That doesn't make sense. More graffiti. Oh, somebody loves Warren. See? I bet you do. That's right. And Max is a feminazi. Really, though? Welcome to 1950. Well, doesn't seem like there's anything interesting here. Soap dispenser, a mirror, I guess I'll look at it. Max Caulfield, Moral Avenger. Or, or Self-Righteous Hypocrite. Yeah, that works too. Hold on, um... Photos I need to take? Anything here? Cha 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 No, not really. Smoking equals death, I guess I have to take that. Alright, we're good. Into the pool! Oh. Can't do it. Just talk. Oh. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. <laughs> Otters don't <laughs> like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Well, if I can find the light. Why would I want to turn on the light? And I guess I could have just gone through the gal's side anyway. So, yes, I could have done that. Victoria Chase rules. Ah, Victoria, why you gotta be like that? Dear Kate, I don't care. God. Rachel abides. Oh, Rachel's the dude, I bet. Um, yeah. This is just, like, 
totally full circle. I didn't even have to do all of that trouble. Ugh, Max, you dope. All right. Light switch, Max. If you were a light switch, you'd be right here. You turn it on. Oxygen kit. In case I run out of air, I know where to go. Good. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Uh, is it in this drawer, maybe? Yes, we get it. Otters. Go Otters! Try to stay champions three years running. Fantastic. There's a cup. Is there coffee in that cup? Coffee and swimming. Good combo. I guess. Ah, here we go. Breakers. Turn them on. Don't electrocute anyone. Did not happen. Good. Yeah, that's fine. That should be enough light. She brought a bathing suit? This whole time she had one? Any files I need to rummage through? Halloween pumpkin. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. What day is it? Isn't it early for Halloween? Um, should probably unlock that. Or I won't. Fine. No big deal. How did you already have a bathing suit? Oh, there you go. All right, fine. Time to do or die, Max. I hope there's like nobody in there, right? Or like there's not a suction thing. Well, where's... Do I have to go to the ladies' room now? Why can't I just do it? See? Let's... Chloe, tell me what to do. I can't think for myself right now. Oh, yeah, baby. It feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Whatever. Tell me you're not going to stand there watching me like a zombie. I tried. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! <laughs> Why, look. An otter in my water. Wait, are you dun, a shark dun, 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 Yeah, dun, apparently. Dun, dun, dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. It's a good movie. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> oh, how nice. <laughs> Late night water fight. I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> Mm. Take the money? I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With totally will. Go to the dark room. I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. I was You're not fast. Some chicken shit anymore. Well, Thanks, maybe a little bit. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. Like a tornado cane? Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe that's a maybe metaphor. Back and forth and maybe that hurricane is me. For what reason? Falling on Arcadia Bay. You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Um. Yeah, what if I had, though? Thank God. But what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And mm -hmm. we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? I'm lying. No, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, screw it. I'll lie to you. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Yeah, it Stop took me a while. Stop so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? You kinda are. And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Uh, you're the bro killer? But Warren is nice? Bro killer. You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and dude. You did not just say that. Mm -hmm. Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish. Totally ignored Warren. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're going to make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. 
I'm never leaving. Mm, I don't know. You held a gun in the first act. Now I'm getting cold in here. Then move around. You'll warm up. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other. Otter versus shark style. See? I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm going to freeze my ass off when I get out. Don't drown. Something bad's got to happen now, right? Something bad. Where is it? Nothing bad has happened yet. Now? Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. Still waiting. No. Called it. Hi. So called it. Okay. I think now is a good time to stop. Sort of. We'll be okay. Sh have to go now. Yeah, turn off your light. Anyway, guys, we're gonna try and get out of this pool that we shouldn't have gone to in the first place. This was not a good idea, Max. I'm blaming you. I hope you're happy. Actually, I should blame Chloe. Chloe.